Greetings everyone. In today's video, we will quickly learn how you can limit access to your login page wp-admin without using any plugins. So basically, if there are three wrong attempts or you can specify the tries to access your website, then this screen will appear and you will have to wait certain minutes to retry accessing your website. In this case, 5 minutes. So let's get started. For more contents like this, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Now to limit access to your WordPress login page, let's open our sample site, which is heyletslearnsomething.com slash test. Well, this is the website with info theme installed. Anyway, let's try to log into the dashboard, that is wp-admin. Let me make multiple tries to access the website with the wrong details. So as you can see, no matter how many attempts I make, I can keep on guessing the password to access the website. This obviously is not good considering the security purposes. So let's limit access to the login page of this website. For that, let's log into the site with the right credentials. So we are in the dashboard. To limit login access, we need to add a code to functions.php. So go to appearance and theme editor and go to functions.php. Scroll down. So we need to add some codes here. So here is the code. By using this code, we can limit access to WordPress login. Here are a few things you can customize. For instance, this number basically indicates the number of tries one can make to access the website. For now, it's three attempts. So if someone is trying to access the website and gives the wrong password or username for three times, then on the next failed login attempt, this message will be displayed. You can keep any message here inside the inverted commas. You can change this error text or other messages. This is for the timings and please do not change this. Basically, this will automatically show that you will be able to log in after certain minutes. If the wait is 5 minutes, then this will gradually decrease to 4 minutes or 3 minutes and so on. To change the wait time for failed login attempts, you can change it here. This is in seconds. So currently, this is 5 minutes. If you make this 600 and this to 600, then the wait time will be 10 minutes. Likewise, if you make it 3000, this wait time will be 50 minutes. So these are in seconds, simply divided by 60 for the wait time. For now, I will just use 300, that is 5 minutes. So after making all the necessary changes, basically the number of wrong attempts to access the site, the error message to display after wrong tries, by the way please do not change this wait time code, and the wait time in seconds. After all these changes, select the code, Ctrl plus A, copy it, and paste it to the functions.php. Update file. So the file has been updated. Let us try if it works or not. So I will log out. Now let's try to log in with the wrong password. I will make three wrong attempts. Now if I again enter the wrong password, I will have to wait 5 minutes. So you can see I am locked out. Now I will have to wait 5 minutes to re-log in to the website. Even if I enter the right password, it will not work. So I will have to wait 5 minutes to make another attempt. By the way, if you are locked out, then you can always go to your cPanel or FTP and access your website files and remove the code we added on functions.php and you should be able to log in. Anyway, so as you can see, it also indicates the timings from 5 minutes to 4 minutes to 3 and so on. Thus, after 5 minutes, I was able to log in to the website. Hope this lesson was useful. Thank you very much.